Before we begin, make sure you have all corresponding parts. To disassemble this torso, it's best to work from the top down. Let's begin! Step 1. Remove the eyeball from the socket. Then remove the brain from the skull. The cerebellum separates for further study. Step 2. On the chest cavity, disconnect the two hooks first. Then remove the right lung and the left lung. The heart hangs in a single peg. It also separates for further study. Step 3. For the lower half, the liver slides out first. The stomach unhooks from the metal peg and can open for further study. Next, pull off the transverse colon. Then pull the front intestine off the peg to remove it. The entire back intestine comes out next. The cecum separates for further examination. Then pull out the kidney. And finally, the bladder lifts out. Step 4. Turn the model around to pull out the intervertebral disc. Let's reassemble the torso. Step 5. Set the bladder back into place. Reattach the kidney. Insert the back of the intestine in next. Make sure to reattach the cecum. Insert the front of the intestines back on the peg. And then put the transverse colon back on top. Connect the stomach back together and place it back on its peg. Finally, put the liver in. Step 6. For the chest cavity, snap the heart back together and hang it on its peg. Then put the front of the lungs back on. Make sure they are hooked. Step 7. Insert the eyeball first. Slide the cerebellum back into the brain, and then insert the brain into the top of the skull. Turn the model around. Slide the intervertebral disc back into place. And you're done! The torso contains numerous pieces when disassembled. Once assembled, you can reference your Access Scientific Product Manual for further details.